Hello, Lakshay. How are you doing? I'm doing great, sir. What about you? I'm also doing fine. Shall we begin with the guesstimate? Yes, sir. Sure. Okay. I'd like you to calculate the market size of chewing gum in India. Okay. So, so just to reiterate, you want me to calculate the market size of chewing gum in India annually? Yeah. Go on. Okay. So keeping in mind that chewing gum is quite commonly consumed in India, I would like to use the top-down approach as well as go ahead with the demand-side approach because the data about the suppliers is not sufficient. All right, that sounds good. Okay, so I would like to go ahead with certain assumptions. The first one being chewing gums are broadly consumed in three main categories. The first one being sugar-free mint-based chewing gums, fruit-based chewing gums, and nicotine chewing. People in the age group of 21 to 40 years would be consuming nicotine based chewing gum. This looks great. Please go ahead with your calculations. Sure, sir. Now, considering the population of India to be 1.4 billion people, 60% of the population resides in rural areas, which makes it 840 billion people. Out of these 840 million people, 10% of the population are the consumers of sugar free mint based chewing gum, which makes it 84 million people. Great. Now you can proceed with the urban population. Now I would categorize the remaining 40% of the population, which is 560 million people into five age groups, 0 to 8 years, 9 to 15 years, 16 to 20 years, and 21, 21 to 40 years, and 41 to 60 years. Okay. Up so to the age of 8 years would not be our potential customers because they cannot consume chewing. Okay, fair enough. Now you can proceed with the category-wise consumer base. Talking about the sugar-free mint-based chewing gum, I would assume that around 30% of the population between 16 to 20 years prefer this flavor, arriving at a figure of 16.8 million. And 40% of 21 to 40 year olds also prefer this flavor, coming at a figure of 67.2 million. So if I were to do the calculations, 84 million people from the rural areas and 84 million people from the urban areas prefer sugar-free mint-based chewing gum coming at a figure of 168 million people. Shall I proceed with the next two categories? Yes, please. Now, considering the fruit-based chewing gums which are more popular among the younger generation, I would assume that 10% of the 9 to 15 year age group, that is 11.2 million, individuals along with 20% of the population from the 16 to 20 years age group which comes out to be 11.2 million as well would make the sum total 22.4 million for this particular flavor. Coming to the third flavor, nicotine based chewing gums, it would be more consumed by the adult population who are trying to leave smoking. I am assuming that 20% of the 21 to 40 years age and 30% of the 41 to 60 years age mm. would consume nicotine chewing gum, which makes the sum total to be 75.6 million individuals. Okay, now go on with the next step. Now I will be moving on to the next step of the guesstimate, which is calculating the total per year consumption of each type of chewing gum. Sugar-free mint-based chewing gums are mainly consumed for the purpose of preventing bad breath. So as um, assume that its customers on an average would consume three each day. Fruit based chewing gums on the other hand are consumed mostly by children because of the sweet flavor, but their parents would stop them from consuming them due to the risk of tooth decay. So I'll take the average to be one. Nicotine based chewing gums on the other hand are very addictive as compared to the other two. So I'll take out the average to be five per day. Okay, fine. So, how many chewing gums are consumed all year long? In order to come to that figure, I have multiplied the total consumers in a day for all the three types of chewing gums by the number of days in a year and then multiplied the figure by the frequency of consumption per day. The, answer come to, the answers come out to be as follows. 183 billion for sugar-free mint-based chewing gums 8.17 billion for fruit based chewing gums and 137 billion for nicotine based chewing gums. So, what is the total market size? I've taken the average prices to be rupees 2 for the sugar free main based chewing gums, rupees 5 for the fruit based chewing gums, 
and rupees eight for the nicotine based chewing gums. Thereby multiplying the total number of chewing gums taken in the last step, consumed all year long with their average prices and adding their products, I arrive at the market size of about one point five trillion. Also, we could consider the following as well. Teenagers use chewing gums to deal with stress and anxiety, and kids usually have fruit flavored chewing gums for their flavor, which could increase the consum consumption by a considerable extent. Yeah. Also, shopkeepers give chewing gums as change many times, which can also be incorporated here. All right, very well. I think we can end the guesstimate here. Yes, sir. Thank you so much.